Hello YouTube, in this video I'm going to walk through, a, do a quick review on another Chinese based ROM which is IUNI ROM. So here you can see if you got the about phone you can find the details about the ROM and the Android version which is based on Android version 4.4.2 which is the kernel version. You can see the interface as just like a MIUI interface without any ho home page and all, home button. So basically this is a port of from Chinese ROM. So let's go and check out the basic features of this ROM. You can see the ROM is very fluid. It is a dialer application. And then contacts. And then here is the messaging application. You can press on that one and then click. And they are using a different keyboard. And you can see some Chinese word here and there. It's like it's really irritating for me it's because uh, there are many more works to be done. Even though the if I click on that one, they are totally meant to log in something. And then when they click on there, I can see only the Chinese. These things actually making me crazy. But the overall feeling of the ROM is like very smooth and fluid. Yeah, I'm liking it. Okay, so let's check out the other features. First of all, if you tap on the home button, you can see the notification toggles here as well as the brightness control and all the applications you are currently checked here on the memory. So if you want to clear one application, just swipe it. Just like we are doing in the MIUI or FIUI, whatever. Chinese based ROMs you will be there. And then besides that, if you want to clear the memory full, just swipe it like this and it will remove all those things by typing here you can see the only not all the notification icon here so if you pull down notification area you can all, only see this login button and you have to log in using your UNI account if you don't have one here is the calendar application you get directly go to the calendar application and then if you look at the camera they are using the color OS camera can see all the modes and all so the color wise camera is actually pretty nice and you can play with all these op options so you see the resolution video mode you can also add for the 4k mode and uh, the camera is perfect because it's color wise camera and you can see all the color wise camera features here so everything is working fine so that if you, this is the gallery application you can see all the gallery gallery files here and then the calendar clock it is a beautiful clock and you can set the alarm like this and then um, app store there is this chinese app store iu yanai so there is no need for us and there is the file manager you can see email the classified classified it's like the made it into different categories like internal images, videos, docs, APKs, everything is there and data user, you can see the data users is from that this is the application manager, you can see a beautiful interface it's for showing highly customized animations to give us a little bit cool and then calculator, privacy Updater, so you can check for the updates, weather application, interceptor, so you can block the calls and messages from using these all the blacklist and all the settings, and then data saving option is there, flat style, color bar, some Chinese letters are there. And I think you can customize status bar from here, battery, text color, and all. Here is the Max Audio music application motion player. So it's about the music application. Looks good. Nice interface. And then this is a photos application. We're going to see, can see all the photos here. And then Play Store, you can go to Play Store and you can set up Play Store and then download whatever Play Store applications you want. And it also comes with this exposed installer, so it's good. You can customize all the aspects of the ROM because of the exposed installer. And I'm damn sure this 
ROM will give more battery because they are using minimal interface. Let's go to check the settings menu. You can find airplane mode, wireless LAN, and then mobile networks and share hot. It's like making portable Wi-Fi and day and time display and display options. You can see brightness, sleep, bold, and all. And from here, this is the boot animation. You can customize the boot animation. Sound and vibrate, counting tone, everything is there. Wallpaper, it's a different wallpaper here. Message push, personal space. If you logged into IUN account, you can customize that. And advanced, there are VPN and NFS location service, app uh, language and in input apps like app manager storage security in security you can customize the lock screen options from here and then other security options account battery developer options accessibility options one plus original functions this is the black black screen gesture can do customize all these gestures here you can see like double tap circle swipe down with two figures where up at all uh, down arrow. this is this is different this is like we can uh, make all these different kinds of off-screen gestures rather than using only four or three three of them so let's say try with one thing this is M By tapping M, I'll say I want to log on to this one. So let me try out that. So I need to swipe M. So you can see it's logged into M, and if I open that thing, I can go that site or something telephone motion camera motion system motion many gestures are there then next one is easy light backup and reset overall it's like uh, if you want to try some new interface and all you can try that if you want to know how to install this ROM, there is a link in the video that will show you that. Just go and check it out. Basically, because of uh, these Chinese letters and all, I am not at all interested. Even though, I am damn sure this, you, if you like this kind of interface and all, you can try, give it a try. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more.